was in a shopping center and I saw the figure of a woman and the hair of a woman. Delightful figure like a high society model. I decided to get closer, take a closer look. And you know, she's absolutely beautiful. She may be a mannequin, but to me she's the most beautiful woman I've ever come across. Just to look at those eyes, magnetic, looking right through me as if she knows me. She makes me feel like I know her too, and that I'm going to know her better. It's as though I expect her to speak to me any minute. I don't know if I can expect that or not, but I'll certainly be speaking to her. Hi, Jennifer, that's what I named you. I'm your fan, Jerry, and since you're right in the neighborhood, I'm planning to come by and see you as often as I can. I hope it's every day I can see you. And I hope when I come by, you'll start looking forward to seeing me too, as I do you. Darling, I'll be back soon. I'll come back tomorrow and see how you're feeling. And check out those beautiful eyes one last time. Why not? Hi Jennifer, I'm back. This is Jerry again. I just wanted to see how you're holding up, how you're feeling. I thought about you last night and I just had to come by and let you know that you're on my mind. Maybe sometime I'll bring you something if you can um, keep something in your pocket. Could be a, a ring or a, mm, could be a watch. But anyway, you're on my mind and I do want to come back another time to visit you. And I don't want to get in your way. I really care about you. I feel very close to you. Well, hi Jennifer, you're looking as beautiful as ever. I'd like to see you on a magazine cover. Or even in a motion picture. Who could you star with? Brad Pitt? What other stars would go with you? Any handsome man in the movie would be great with you. I wish I could be in the film with you. Anyway, Jennifer, you are my movie. You're my film. I'm going to stay away for a while because I don't want to make you tired.